My name is Richard Trask. I'm a senior lecturer in the Department of Aerospace Engineering at the University of Bristol. I work in the Multifunctional Materials and Technologies Group within the Advanced Composite Centre for Innovation and Science. The idea of our group is to try and be inspired by nature to look at some novel solutions for future engineering applications. Eupelecta aspergillium is a unique biological system. It's a silica sea sponge based in the ocean and it has a unique damage tolerant hierarchical structure. For us as engineers we're very interested in how these systems perform in a damaged environment and we're using micro CT imagery and finite element analysis to characterise its response. Another system that we're particularly interested in is Nacre. Nacre is a highly damage tolerant biological ceramic it uses proteins and ceramic materials to absorb the energy within the structure. For us as engineers, we would like to simulate this in the form of the next generation body armour. We're using additive layer manufacture to generate unique little platelet structures and we're using high strain rate tests and high speed cameras to record this event. Another area that we're interested in is adaptive camouflage, both in terms of colour change and shape change. So my research is motivated by cuttlefish and octopus and how they react to a dangerous environment. For us we're using soft elastomeric materials to form into different shapes based on the principles of origami. In terms of colour change we're working extensively with biological science to understand how the different forms of the chromatophore and the iridophore control light within these structures. And finally, part of my research group is investigating the potential of self-healing for fibre reinforced composites. Within this element of the group, two individual projects are currently ongoing. The first is where we're trying to deploy healing upon the actuation of the damage event, so it's stimuli triggered. What we're looking at is how we can flood the resin system through the fracture plane in approximately 20 odd seconds. The second element of the self-healing research is looking at the actual network construction in itself. We're trying to generate porous fibres that can secrete a fluid through a damage event. This way we can control the repeatability of the healing throughout the operational life of the structure. Nature continues to be a great source of inspiration for me and my research group. We're investigating numerous aspects from adaptive camouflage to self-healing to looking at novel fibre architecture. All these have immense potential for engineering structures in the future.